Hey guys, today we're going to make Milky Road with Mini Eggs. And I'm Ella, and this is my mum, Jen. Hello. Okay, so uh, Ella's going to be helping me today. Uh, I thought it might be fun to have my almost two-year-old Addison join us as well. Uh, but yesterday we made some Play-Doh together. And only two minutes in, she was already throwing spoonfuls of flour out of her bowl onto the kitchen floor. So we decided she should sit this one out. So she's napping right now. Um, are you going to be throwing any mini eggs on the floor? <laughs> no. no. Okay, good. Then you can help. Um, it probably would have been more entertaining to have Addison here, but um, more dangerous too. So I'm just going to start by telling you what we've got in the bowl to begin with. Uh, if you saw the recipe that I posted and you saw the ingredients we were using, you'll know. Uh, so it's 450 grams of milk chocolate. Um, I use these Calabao chips. It's 50 grams of dark chocolate, 150 grams of unsalted butter, and 95 grams of golden syrup. So like I said before, it doesn't matter if you don't have all the ingredients that we do. Um, with Rocky Road you can really just make it up as you go along. If you only have chocolate and you don't have the butter and the syrup that will also work. Um, it will just mean when you crunch into it at the end and bite it it's a bit harder um, than if you have the <laughs> butter and the syrup you're nodding along. Um, that just makes it a bit softer when, and it also makes it easier to cut and slice neatly and nicely which is why I make my Rocky Road this way that goes into my boxes. Um, so yeah, we're gonna take it over to the hob now, start melting it. I'll grab the camera. There we go. Can you carry that? Yeah. Alright, you carry it over and I'll bring the chair. Alright, we've boiled our water. Yeah. I'll hold it while you hop up. Pop it on the pan. And we're just gonna start melting. So yeah, if you really wanted to, you could melt it straight into the pan, uh, but with chocolate it's always a bit risky, and so it's just safer to put it in a bowl on top of the pan um, so that it doesn't burn, basically. So Ella's giving that a little mix around. Uh, it's also important not to leave your bowl at this stage and walk away and just forget about it while it melts because some of the top of the chocolate still can catch if you've got flames leaping over the side. Um, so just stay by your chocolate, keep stirring it until it all melts. Um, and then uh, we leave it to cool for a while, which is why this isn't a live video. I did think about doing it live, but um, I also thought it would be super boring to watch us waiting for the chocolate to cool down for half an hour in live time. So I'm just making this as a little video that we're going to stop and start and we'll post it to stories. So send us a message if you are watching along and if you're planning to bake it, definitely send us a message if you do bake it or tag us in if you put a picture up of what your Rocky Road looks like. Um, Ella was really keen to say about liking and subscribing, but I reminded her this isn't YouTube, so you guys can't subscribe. Uh, she does watch a lot of YouTube, and she'd like to have her own channel, wouldn't you? Yes. So maybe this will be the start of it. So she's expertly mixing that round now, and I'm just going to stop this, and I'll show you what it looks like once it's all melted. All right, we're back, and that's everything melted together now. Ella's showing you there. Now there's no more lumps of butter or anything, everything's all mixed as one. Um, that probably took us less than five minutes to get it all melted, so it wasn't too long. Um, I wanted to quickly mention as well why I decided to share a Rocky Road recipe with you. Um, I know it's kind of cheating because it's a super easy one and there's actually no baking involved. It's basically just going to be pouring things in a bowl and mixing them together. but. That's because I know that a lot of you are having flour and egg shortages at the moment and you're not able to get them in the supermarkets. So I thought this would be a good recipe to start with. 
and maybe if you have enjoyed this and you'd like another one then next week we can try and give you one that's cookies or that will be actually baking yeah and using more ingredients uh, maybe everyone will have calmed down by then and you guys will be able to find eggs but for now this is one that doesn't need any eggs and flour and it's also a yummy one and also a really kid friendly one thinking of all you people with your kids at home uh, I thought that this would be fun for them to join in. And that's why ours is a little bit crazy today with birthday cake Oreos and mini eggs and sprinkles. Um, again, because we're we're playing it to the kids. Yeah, and it's getting up to Easter, that's why we've got the mini eggs. Yes, and we just love mini eggs, don't we? Yeah. We were going to keep some back so that we could snack on some while we were making it, but actually we ate them all before we started, didn't we, Ella? <laughs> yeah because they're just too yummy and we couldn't help ourselves. Uh, so hopefully you guys were able to find mini eggs and no one's been stockpiling those. Um, so what we're gonna do now is I usually always let this Rocky Road mixture cool for half an hour. And the reason I do that is because I usually stir in like Snickers chunks or Rolos or soft chocolate that if you just stirred in right away would just melt and you wouldn't be able to see chunks of it at the end when it's all set. Um, that's not really a problem today with our mini eggs and Oreos, but the marshmallows would melt if you added them at this point, especially my homemade marshmallows because they're softer than shop-bought ones, which is the ones we're using. Um, so I'm just going to leave it like I usually do for half an hour. Um, if you're using softer chocolates, you might want to do the same. If you're not and you've got shop-bought marshmallows and mini eggs and Oreos, then you can probably just add yours into the bowl right now and that will be fine but we're gonna cool ours probably we'll just cool it for 20 minutes and then we'll come back and show you when we add everything okay one thing I forgot to say is while your chocolate's cooling now would be a good time to start chopping things so we're gonna start chopping our Oreos yeah. um, that are gonna go in the middle of the rocky road yeah. and also the ones that are gonna go on the top uh, I've chopped our mini eggs, just cut them into half. Um, if you are baking with kids, that's going to be a grown up task because um, mini eggs, because they're wobbly when you try and cut them, uh, can cause all kinds of risks. So make sure a grown up does that. And even grown ups be careful because I've certainly had accidents doing that before. They're a bit tricky. Uh, so yeah, just chop those in half. We're chopping the Oreos into quarters. Uh, the Rice Krispies are just going to go into whole and the marshmallows we're going to cut into little chunks. We'll show you when it's done. So yeah, get chopping and then we'll add them all in a bit. Okay, we're back. And somebody must have smelt the chocolate and had the shortest nap in the history of man. Hooray, Hooray Chuck! So she's here to join us too. So this is Addison. Addison, do you want to say hi? Hi. Say hi to the people. Hi, people. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to see how this goes. Say hi. Hi. Say, so we're making Easter eggs. Um. Um, <laughs> yes, you want to eat them, don't you? So let's show um. you a little bit of what's been going on. All the chopping's been done. We've got 100 grams of marshmallows, 70 grams of Oreos, birthday cake ones, 70 grams of mini eggs, 35 grams of Rice Krispies. Our chocolate has cooled down yeah. and is ready for things to be added to. Do you want to stir it? You going to take a turn? She's just got her eye on those mini eggs. That's what she's got her eye on. Good job, <laughs> good mixing. And then over on this side, we've got all our little add-ons that we're going to put um. once the Rocky Roads in the pan. What do you want to show them, Ella? We've got sprinkles. Yes, some little confetti rainbow sprinkles to add on at the end. So this, these are just our extras that we're going to add on top. we do need a spatula. Yes, we're going to use the spatula at the end to scrape it oh, all in. Oh, did you put some in your mouth, Daddy? No, we'd see if it was in her mouth. Dirty. It, it would be dirty, you're right. Your face would be all dirty. So I'm going to pop that down there. Pop. Pop. And then if you shuffle over, Ella Bella, so that we can see you still, we're going to start adding things in. 
adding, adding, adding. So the first thing we're going to add in Mwah. is the Rice Krispies. Isabella, why don't you do those? Okay. So you pour those in. Good job. Now I'm going to mix them in. And Addy, I'm sure that you... We like, like to do the mini egg. <laughs> yes. So why don't you stand up? <laughs> Okay, you get the bowl of mini eggs and pour them in. Wow, good job. Oh, a few more to go. Huh, all done. There you go. Good job. Can you let her have a little mix? Take it in turns. You want to mix? Mix, mix, mix. Ella. Yeah, Ella was doing it, wasn't she? Okay, Ella, you add the Oreos. Okay. In they go. Can we All right. Mix, can do some mixing. Mom. Yeah, you can do the marshmallows in a minute, okay? Just let Ella mix those all in. Oh, it looks good. It looks good, guys. <laughs> good. All right. Addy, look. Wow. Do you like it? Okay, Addy, yeah. you want to add in the mallows? Wee. There we go. So we've chopped ours quite big. You saw when I showed you earlier. <laughs> yeah. That's because we like to get a nice yeah. big chunky bit of marshmallow when you bite. Okay, Addy wants a turn. Okay. Let her have a stir. Can I add in the mini? Well, remember, those are the okay. ones from top. So now we've added everything that's going to go in the rocky road. Mommy, give it a big stir. There we are. Oh, that looks good. I want to eat the whole bowl. <laughs> I think you'd be uh. sick if you ate the whole bowl. No, <laughs> I mean the whole in there. I know, that's what I'm saying. I won't be sick. Mm, you never know. Oh, nanny. Nummies, that's right. Oh, do you have a fat belly? <laughs> you would have a fat belly, that's right. Okay, now we're going to scrape it all in. So I'll do the... So I forgot to tell you, we lined a tin. It's an 8 by 8 inch square pan. Just spread some butter in there and put greaseproof paper yeah. down. And you can use whatever kind of tin you have at home, but this is the one we use. Uh, she can have a sprinkle when we're putting the sprinkles on. Hi. So, do that all. Got some sneaky little eating going on here. Just to show everyone at home that everything is yummy and is good to go. Yeah. Is it yummy? <laughs> you show me what's in your mouth. And anyway, I still look short, but you can't really see me on the camera. And I'm six. Yeah, that's right. You just tell them you're kneeling down so that your head yeah. can fit in, aren't you? Yeah. We're kneeling, kneeling down and can you see me? <laughs> No. Okay, yeah. so we're going to put that last bit in the pan. Hello, Bella, do you want to spread it all? Yeah. Okay, or well maybe you guys can hold it together. Yeah, please. Annie, hold the top. You guys can spread it together. Spread, spread, spread. Spread it into spready, those corners. Spready, spready. Spread, spread, spread. 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 Yeah, is it a bit messy? That's fine, we'll clean up at the end. I think she thinks it's mud. <laughs> <laughs> a giant mud pie. Daddy. With Oreos in it. <laughs> what are you doing, Daddy? Go. Okay, I'll do the rest. Alright, let Mummy just smooth it over on the top. So... That is it done for now, and then we just add our little bits on the top, which are just to make it look pretty. That's what we do, and we try and make sure that there's one bit of marshmallow, Oreo, mini egg on each piece in the pan. So like I said, our pan's going to make 16 squares, so we're just going to do 16 mini eggs, so four rows of four. So Ella's going to show you that now, she's going to start putting the mini eggs on. So we get a whole mini egg and then start putting it in. That's right. Well, Addy's oh. going to have a go. It's all right, you can let her. Okay, Addy, you want a white in the middle? Just put it in the centre of the middle. Like that. Very good. 
Very good, Daddy. All right, you want to have a little lick of this? Oh. Yes. We all know that licking the spatula yeah. is one of the best bits of baking with Mummy, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Mm. All righty. Oh, I got a rice crispy. Okay, so keep popping the bits in. So remember, it's just one per piece, okay? So we've okay. done that there. Now we're going to start on the next row. That's it. Yeah. Abby's starting her own row. Let me show you guys. Yeah, she's starting her own row. Clever girl, Abby. Clever girl. Just going to start around here. Do we have to do it uh, Yeah, at the bottom, that's it. Good job. Okay. Another row. Mini eggs, mini eggs, mini eggs. Ah, that one's boring, you don't. Addy's turn. Addy's oh, turn. Addy. Let Addy have a turn with the last one. Good job. <laughs> Addy's is sunk. She was going for a swim in the chocolate. Okay, then grab the mallows and remember put one on each piece. There. So remember we, we need to have them in the corners because we're going to be cutting with our knife. So we, <laughs> Addison May. What? We're not eating it yet. Mm. Oh, is that good? Is that yummy? <laughs> that's it. You silly goose! So all that's happening now is we're just putting our toppings on. Can you help and let Addy have a turn? That's it. And once those are all put on, we'll put a little Oreo piece on each chunk. And then we just sprinkle the whole thing with Rice Krispies. And we're going to pop it in the fridge. And that's it basically done. And it just needs to set and harden up. Oh, and our sprinkles as well. <laughs> Gonna have to go soon before Addy eats it all before we've even put it in the fridge, aren't I? Yes. Um, <laughs> wait, that's for the end, darling. Okay. <laughs> but I hope that you've all enjoyed following <laughs> along. If you've got any questions, if I didn't explain anything well enough, then just send me a question. Send Ella one. We're happy yeah. to answer them. Don't send Addy one. She will just tell <gasps> you to eat nummies. That will be her answer. Yeah. Um. And yeah, this now needs to set for at least an hour and a half until firm in the fridge, if you guys can wait that long. I know this is the tricky part. And then once it's set in the fridge, you can take it out and slice it up and you can enjoy. And like I said, we're really excited to see if any of you bake along with us. <laughs> that is it. <laughs> no uh, more. I'm gonna have to go before we don't have any Rocky Road left because someone's tucking in big star you over here. Naughty, <laughs> naughty girl. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed and we will look forward to seeing any of your creations that you've made. Remember, you can just make it however you want. You don't have to use the things we used. You can tell us different mix-ins that you had in your house, um, different creations that you made. We'll be looking forward to hearing how it turned out. And yeah, if you liked it, then we'll do another one next week. Hopefully, uh, when this one's napping. <laughs> All right, do you want to say bye, girls? Bye. Addy, can you say bye? See you next Thursday. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. And Addy. Bye-bye. <laughs> bye.